from the Mashamba West Mine in the Katanga. Now this is a uh, hand size, almost hand size specimen. Uh, let's first of all lie it flat. So lying flat, not a very heavy matrix, so it's not a very heavy piece. And there you see those cobalt and calcite crystals jutting out from on top of that. But what's interesting about this material from Mashamba West, uh, as you're seeing it is slightly overexposed. Uh, let me just see if I can reduce exposure slightly. Let's see if we go up there. Doesn't want to reduce exposure, but anyway, there's lovely color zoning in these cobalt and calcite. Also, very intricate crystallization. Now, the crystallization starts on this section, going around here. So, let's first of all go, go through the edges. This section here would be all tiny quartz crystals, sort of a milky to clear quartz crystals. Look on the cross section there. The black powdering would most likely be some heterogenite, um, little waxy black botroids, uh, uh, quite quite abundant in the copper mines of the Congo. Of course, this guy would hail from the um, uh, Mashamba West in the Kolwezi mining district in the Katanga. My preferred point of display would be focusing on this uh, formation here. Yet you could have it flat. It's actually got an all-round display lying flat. Lovely piece. Oh, this is also very, very nice. And look at the color zoning on these uh, cobalt and calcites. Or the, the crust being a different color to the, the, the core, which is dusted, of course, with the heterogenite. And I think maybe even the uh, scalyhedrons mixed with cubes here on the calcite side. 